Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Saturday morning. I'm going to start a little bit early, but we're not going to play a game just yet. A lot of you don't know that all these logos and things that you see on the screen, and that's not what I wanted at all. Everything you see on the screen is not, or all these logos that you see, they're created um, by my own hands. So they are original. As I let you see one that I'm about to make for Saturday morning that game. Uh, Saturday morning that game deserves its own title. So, actually, grab an image from the internet. Basically, what I do is I grab an image, look for a good one, Let's see what's a good one around here. Um, me. Want something large because it's large, it's gonna look nicer, it's gonna have more detail. Actually, I like this one. Takes a second for it to. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Save that. Open up Photoshop. And we'll bring this in. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? I'm gonna zoom out some. Oh god. Damn. I'm working too hard on it. Nah, I didn't recover it. Oh well. That's okay. Just drag in that picture. There we go. So now we have our picture. Looks nice to me. I like it. Damn. Not what I want. There we go. Bring back my. That's not what I want. What window is it? I don't remember the name of the actual window. Uh, 
Close enough. Brains back to this one though. Which one is it? Adjustments, okay. No. Yeah. Uh, so Lane wants to figure this out. I still don't have no. That's that. No. Right now, I am missing. Where is the one window that I need? One window. One. There it is. Okay. Now that I figured that out, I know we're going to play some game. I just want to give it its own thing. Um, Alright. If I'm going to like that, I'm going to bring in some text. It's going to say. I'm showing you exactly how I do what I do. Um, I don't like aerial ball. For those of you wondering what version of Photoshop I'm using, I'm using Photoshop CC 2014. Give it. I'm gonna give it this color right here. Actually, that color. I don't know what I do with these. I give them an outline, you know, so that you can see it. Cause you need to see it.
Now uh, this is where my animation comes in. So I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna put these layers together. Whoa. Oh, we're not done. I'm probably make it a little bit bigger. Like a lot bigger. Alright, I'm gonna make a new layer. That's gonna be not that big. Not that small either. I don't know where that layer went. So I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. Well, it's not going to look like that. So. Oh. Actually. It looks smaller than this. That way I can do that. I think there's interference between the receiver and my mouse. Okay. Make it a little bigger. Make it a different color. Actually, make it more of that. No. No. We're not allowed to watch here. Okay. So that I might add drop shadow. Because it needs a drop shadow. I never said make it row. I know I didn't say that. I said make it that color. There we go. There we go. Now comes the timeline. Zoom out some. We're going to extend everything. But my main focal point will be here on the dot game part. So that's what we want to change. All right. 
marker right there. Oh, that's how I had a marker. And here, I'm going to make the effects. This arrow glow is going to go a little bit higher. Two seconds. It'll go back down. And then we'll trim it back down. About five. About forty. Five and forty. So this is what I'm doing right now. It's gonna look cool when I'm done with it. Um, fix it again. Be fifty, hundred. Timeline for it again. And be five and forty. Do this one more time. Mark here. Under it again, and then right at the end here, five, five, and forty. And we'll make sure that the beginning is in sync. We'll make sure that's at five to forty. So the beginning and end will start the same or will be the same. It'll go up as time goes on. So yes.